Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the blue screen error a required device is not connected. So it should be followed by a 0xC00000F error code. So if you're coming across this issue on your Windows computer and you're looking to resolve it, this tutorial should be able to help. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it and we're going to start by booting into our troubleshooting or recovery menu. So if you're unable to boot into Windows, you can download the Windows 10 Media Creation Utility, burn it to a DVD or USB, and then boot your computer to it. So your boot menu might be different depending on your manufacturer, so you might have to tap the escape key, F2, F8, F12, something along those lines when booting up your computer, and you want to boot it to that device and I've made a tutorial of this nature in the past so go ahead and check out my channel for that but anyway we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it so if you're able to boot into Windows you can go ahead and just left on the start menu And then you want to go select the power option or power button and then hold down the shift key while left clicking on restart. Also you can try powering off your computer three times in a hard power off. So basically just turning off your power from the source or just pushing the button in. Now letting your computer do a normal shut off three times in a row should also load the recovery menu options as well. And underneath choose an option, select troubleshoot, reset your PC or see advanced options. And then select advanced options, select the command prompt. So select your user account. If you have a password used on your account, you might have to enter it here. Otherwise, if you don't have an account password, you're just going to leave it blank and select continue. Now into this command prompt window, you want to start by typing in bootrec. So B-O-O-T-R-E-C space forward slash fix MBR, exactly as it appears on my screen. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should say the operation completed successfully. Now you want to type in bcd edit exactly as it appears on my screen, followed by a space forward slash export, followed by another space, and then type whatever drive letter Windows is installed on. On my computer, it's on my C drive, so I'm just going to type the letter C, followed by a colon, which is basically one dot on top of another dot, so it should be right next to the L key on your keyboard, followed by a backslash bcd copy. So again, exactly as it appears on my screen. So B C D E D I T space forward slash export space and then type in your drive letter colon backslash B C D copy. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should say the operation completed successfully. Now you want to type in A T T R I B space C colon backslash boot backslash a bcd space minus sign h another space minus sign r then another space minus sign s exactly as it appears on my screen so again a t t r i b then you want to do a space then your drive letter colon backslash boot backslash bcd space minus sign h another space minus sign r and then finally another space and then a minus sign S. Hit enter on your keyboard once you've done that. 
Now you want to type in REN space. And now, again, your Windows drive letter might be different, but again, mine is C. I have to keep reminding you guys that. So C colon backslash boot backslash BCD, another space BCD period or dot copy. So exactly as it appears on my screen. So again, REN space C colon backslash boot backslash BCD followed by another space BCD dot copy. Hit enter on your keyboard. Now type in boot B O O T R E C space forward slash rebuild BCD exactly as it appears on my screen. So again, boot rec R E C space forward slash rebuild the BCD. Hit enter on your keyboard. This should not take too long, but just please be patient. You want to type the Y key on your keyboard and then hit enter. So don't spell out Y, like W-H-Y, just type the letter Y. It should say the operation completed successfully, so you can type exit at this point. Hit enter on your keyboard, which suggests exiting and continuing to Windows 10. If you're still having problems, you can always come back in this utility and select Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and then choose options like Start or Repair, System Restore, and you can also uninstall recently created updates, so uninstall latest quality updates or feature updates. So you do have other options within this utility as well that you can explore. So I do have this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.